All right, guys, welcome back. Poloni is here again. Um, I decided that I should go back to South Quenos, kill that rogue, and collect his head for our quest for the Blood Forge Hammer before I do my mission of collecting a bunch of pixie dust. Because the event zone's gonna close and I'd rather get it done than miss the opportunity. Because there's no way I'm gonna be able to make that trip really. I mean, maybe, but it's just so risky if I were to try to run through a high, high pass hole. Chances are I would I would die, I think. So we're going to make our way to Lower Fade Arc. We're going to hit the book that takes us to the Shard of Decay, and then we're going to have to do a little trial and error, figure out which book takes us to West Karana, and we're going to kill ourselves a Tumpy Iron Toe. Lesser Fey Dark. Wouldn't it be funny if the end of the series was me running across a little brownie scout just getting smacked down? There would be no escape, honestly. Um, they run with like Sal or something. They run so fast. And they would crush me so fast, even with lay on hands if I pulled one off. It would just slightly delay the inevitable. Let's not talk about things like that. Oh look, we can probably follow this barbarian. He's probably heading to the same place we are. All right, here we are. This is the Shadow Man Temple in Lesser Fate Arc, and here's the Shard of Decay teleportation book. Now, just to figure out which way to West Karana. There's so many things to click that teleport you, so we're going to have to figure that out as well. Oy vey. All right, so here's the chair. We can do a process of elimination. We just came out of here. Let's try this one. Well, wouldn't you know it? The first try. Lucky us. All right. Time to head into South Quenos. Turn in our one uh, Nullfang, which might end up being quite a chunk of XP. Go back to our guild. Turn in one set of bone chips. We have six. And then kill our little dwarf friend. Decided to talk to this guard, Hefax Tenmar, on the way back. Hail, traveler. You can rest here in the tower. We shall protect you. I apologize for the scarcity of patrols. Uh, scarcity of patrols? Antonis Bale's beliefs are not the beliefs of all Quino citizens. We need to concentrate on protecting our own. Let other nations fill their own graves. What does Antonius Bale believe? Antonius Bale is our illustrious Quenos governor. He has lost all touch with the regular Quenos citizen. Soon he will begin to use the title of king and forget all about us peasants. <laughs> Hail Antonius Bale, really. <laughs> what about Guard Miles? Looks like this other player is talking to Guard Miles. But I don't know why. Because I hailed Guard Miles. To no reply. I don't know if it's because he's engaged. Let's try Guard Nash. Also no reply. This is interesting. Anyway, whatever. Back on their trip. Ooh, some giant rats. I wonder if they're social. They happen to be dark blue, and I'm looking to level up some of my one-hand slash. So I'm going to give them... A try. Ooh, easy kills. Easy peasy. We're at 60%. Let's see what a giant rat gives us. It didn't even ting. Maybe that one was a light blue? Did I... I conned one, and it came dark blue. Let's try this dark blue one. I find it hard to believe that a dark blue would give anything less than 1% at this level. Maybe I conned this one and the other one that I attacked was just a light blue. He seems to be putting up more of a fight. Figured get some kills on the way. 
Because, uh, you know, HP is regenerating over time anyway, so might as well put that time that we spend running around to a little bit of HP regen use. You know what I mean? There we go. That one took us up to 62%. So that was more than 1%. Let's see if we can do anything with that fur. Maybe there's some armor we can get out of it. Defense up to 26. I'm excited for when we get go back and kill a bunch of pixie tricksters. We're going to get totally rawhided out. It's going to change everything for us. And along the way, we're going to make a bunch of money. Which could mean any number of things. A new weapon. I should probably save up for a magic weapon. Besides the, uh, the Blood Forge hammer. Maybe like a magic one-hander combine sword we'll see if it's too expensive then I'll just get a, a normal long sword and uh, I'll have the two hand hammer for my magic necessities all right Captain Tillin we're at 62 percent let's see what our fang does for us assuming of course that I can even find it there it is 62 goes up to 66. Only 4% each. Still not bad. Now to head to our guild. Actually, I decided that instead of going to our guild first, let's go find Tumpy Iron Toe and take him down. Where was it? I think he was down over here somewhere. Alright, apparently he's in here in Fish's Ale. Now, uh, I'm still worried. So, first off, we're going with our high skill weapon. That would be the Crack Staff. Even though it's got a worse ratio, I just want more consistent hits. And second off, I'm kind of curious where's the nearest zone line. There isn't one. We basically just have to run far north if we get in trouble. Where is that little bugger? Isn't he usually, like, right here? Huh. He must be out and about already. I think before I saw him right here. Oh well. Since we couldn't find Tumpy, I thought, let's visit our guild first. Join the cause. Crush the undead. There we go. All right, and then open that box. Where do I put this? Okay, there we go. Got some rat ears to sell or whatever. Let's see how much six bone chips give us now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Combine. So at level eight, we're at sixty-six percent. Goes up to 69, 3%. Just like the turn in and uh, Felwith did. Hmm. But well, with two more bone chips. So I think Felwith XP might be better. It seems like it. At least at this level. Alright. Well. I mean, the only other thing to do is to go find Mr. Tumpy. Or a tailor. Because we still need... We still need to tailor up some gear as well. So I'm going to go check the, the fish bar where Tumpy should be one more time. And if he's not there, we'll go try some tailoring first and come and check it again later. I think he does path around. He goes out to, to you know, take a leak, I think. And then, oh, there he is. Now we got guards patrolling around. But not right now. I'm going for it. Oh my gosh. This is so risque. Where is he? Am I lagging? Wonderful. Of all the times to lag out. Now we saw that guard on patrol. It makes me want to... I'm pretty sure that's a merchant who will not aggro. Let's pull him somewhere, hopefully even more safe. 
Someone's like casting some spell over there. There's an enchanter over there. I hope she wouldn't aggro. Okay, we're gonna maybe save a bash for when he's at about 20. We're gonna save this next bash for when he starts to run. It's about to happen. Missed. Oh no, and he's got like maximum HP. Please die. Please die. The guards are right there. Thank you. There we have the head. We did it, boyos. And everybody's still cool? Still cool. Alright. Now I just found, I just looked at the quest again. It says minimum level 10. So we might have to wait a little bit to actually turn this in. But we got it in the pocket, baby. When we hit finally hit level 10, I think we can get that hammer. And you know what? I think we can get it earlier. Because I remember Korvac, the paladin in my self found friends group, had it. And I think he quested it as well. So he got it, I'm pretty sure, before level 10, but I'm not sure. So I'll just wait to level 10. There's no rush. I can easily get to level 10 off of other things like orcs and skeletons. Anyway, let's head back to Gfei and get back to the grind. Yeah. Before we head back, I decided to stop by Farah's Leather and Thread to give my hand a tailoring a try. Hey, Farah. Oh, she even sells the leather armor straight out. Very nice. I'm almost tempted to buy a piece. Those are good prices. Maybe I will. I think leather, well, rawhide, I think is the same as leather. Well, let's take a look. The wolfhide boots are the same as the rawhide, AC4. But she doesn't have boots for sale. The wolfhide belt is doing AC3. Her leather belt is doing AC3, so we might as well save our money, but it's good to know. Turns out, though, the ruined wolf pelts I have are basically no good because they're only going to make small armor, which I can't wear. That was the problem with the Crushbone Belt quest. Oh, I have some weapons to sell? I didn't even realize it. That's why I was so overweight. Probably have some other stuff to sell, too. Pixie wings. Oh, yeah. Small tattered belt. Oh, wow. Okay, don't sell the axe. We need that. Okay. Now I need to move these recipes out of there. Put one in there and. One ruined wolf pelt. Success! No level up though. And a failure. And we can't wear it. But we can sell it for one gold. So, still, not bad. Tailoring might be a good way for us to make some money, even just from vendors. Yay! <laughs> All right, back to Gfei. Pixie trickster time, baby. Pixie trickster time. Well, we're about to say goodbye to the Quenos Hills in Karanas. And I'll have to decide if I manage to finish this armor quest on the Pixies before the event's over. I'll have to decide whether or not to come back. Bandit Sashes are great. This is our hometown, but um, thinking we're not going to be going back to that area. Probably going to be on Fadeway. <coughs> but yeah, maybe I should go back. Those bandit sashes. Bandits are good XP. Sashes are good XP. Plus they give bronze weapons. 
when you turn them in as well. So it's just good XP all around. Oh, this is not the teleport I was looking for. Which took me a second to realize it, but here we are at the Commons Tunnel. Cool. There we go. Back in Lower Fade Arc. Lesser. It is lesser. Oh! <laughs> Alright, fresh out the gate. Back in G Fay. Literally, still within sight of the zone line to L Fay, and there's a Pixie Trickster waiting for me. So we found, remember, if you watched the last video, we found a bunch of, bunch of Pixie Tricksters upon the path leading from Felwith, the High Elf City, to Calithin, the Wood Elf City. We're going to travel that path, kill everything on the way, but I don't think we're going to stay there. I think we're going to head over towards Orc Hill, because you might have seen in a video some point as well, there's a, quite a few over there too, and there's Orcs for us to kill for XP and for belts, so best of both worlds. But speaking of the little buggers, here's another one. But anyway, I don't want to record all this. This is going to be pretty easy and pretty safe. So there's not really any worry of, you know, me getting killed and not catching it on camera. But, uh, just wanted to fill you guys in. Maybe I'll turn on some Orc Centurion fights as we're hunting pixies and orcs at the same time. Oh my gosh, would you look at these girls? They're everywhere. But besides that, I think I kind of want to just pause it and then flick it back on when I've got a bunch of armor. I'm not even going to show the turn-ins. I think I'm just going to be like, boom, check out what I got. I'll see you then. Oh, just wanted to mention, <laughs> I paused for only like 30 seconds and I killed like six of them. They're all over this hill for some reason. But I wanted to mention, they're consistently dropping like two to three silver apiece. So, kind of making decent cash for killing level twos. This is totally a quest that you got to get on top of if you're a high elf or a wood elf or even a dwarf level like three to five maybe just hunt these pixie tricksters make a bunch of money they're all carrying rusty weapons th two three silver plus they are xp themselves and then you got the turn in that can get you rawhide armor which even if you don't need you could sell look at them they're just everywhere there's just so many of them i can't even get halfway to kelton right now let's see how much cash four silver plus these wings each sell for like a silver each so serious cash to be made off these pixie tricksters unfortunately i'm gonna make myself i am losing faction with them but i don't know if the fix the pixies and the fairy maidens are on the same faction i don't think they are i'm about to find out though oh or am i she's indifferent to me so i think we're good came across our first Orc Centurion. This is the one Orc Centurion that roams near the newbie lift for um, Galathin. So we're going to have a lot more. But we're not doing so well against him because we are trying to use our new axe and it is not landing hits very well against the actual Dark Blues. So it seems anyway. But we got to skill it up. This is the way to do that. I think these are kind of like lower level dark blues for us at this point, so they're really kind of perfect for skilling up a new weapon. I don't think we'll be putting ourselves in danger. I still have the staff though, in case I decide to switch out to get better hits. The bash is always, the bash is what's really carrying us right now. Nice. A belt. Alright, we just arrived over by Orc Hill. First thing we saw was a pixie trickster. It's going to be a little more dangerous around here because they do have those patrols, and I think I'm standing right in the middle of one of them right now. But as we can see, still plenty of pixie tricksters. We've already got eight or nine dusts, so we got one and a half turn ins already just trying to get over here. So we're going to keep farming up the pixies. That one dropped seven silver. Wow, they are rich. Truly, an uh, undiscovered gem of leveling. In this zone, I think, are they, are they an oracle? Oh, it's a caster, but it's only blue, but I hate casters. We wouldn't get much XP, so I'm going to avoid it. 
let's see what we got here. Two dark blues. Nope. Also avoiding the widows. We don't want to get poisoned. There's a green and a blue. Perfect. Let's pull him back a little bit, but not too far, because I think here it's kind of safe since that green's not going to aggro. Slash. So it's almost never landing for its maximum potential of 12 on the blues right now. But that's because its skill is, is down. And RNG is not being kind with that skill getting up so far. Oh well. We'll get there. Like, look at this. Hardly even landing a hit. There, we got an 11. There's another 11. This guy doesn't want to run. Okay, I'm happy with that. But dang, look at our HP. Alright, looks like we're going to be hunting pixies alone for a little while while the HP regenerates. But, well, there's a fairy. Gotta be careful to make sure... I know what I'm fighting before I start swinging at it. Those guys will rip me apart. That'll be the end. I think what I'm going to do is run back to the pixie land where I found like literally seven pixies all in the same area. Since we're regening health anyway after fighting a centurion, we don't want to fight another one right now. So it's not that far of a run, really. Might as well run there and just rip a bunch of pixies apart and by the time we're done we'll probably be even though with, even without sitting down probably be getting a little bit close to um full hp again ready to go back and kill another blue and like this put our all of our time to good use questing armor and getting xp and belts as well that's the plan stan all right you guys as you can see up in the upper left hand corner of the screen, I am showing my Enfarce map because I want you to see this place that I'm going to officially dub the Pixie Fields. Between here and the, the eastern zone line where you see Felwith, um, slightly north, slightly south, all around this area between the paths that you can see on the map, it's just Pixie after Pixie, I swear. I mean, I might have just been getting lucky. Maybe people were killing bats and stuff and skeletons and not killing Pixies. And they made a whole bunch of Pixies spawn in here. But you saw me when I first got to this zone in this exact spot. And I killed like seven Pixie Tricksters, like back to back. They were just like everywhere. In fact, you might even want to be careful if you're only like level three or level four, because they do social. Like it's, it was, the density is like gets to be like that. But if you're looking to do this quest, this is definitely the spot. You can see me, my little marker roaming around in here. Also on the northern path, you see I'm in the middle of a couple of different paths. One's the path that leads from Butch Block Mountains over to Felwith. The other path is the path that leads from Felwith up to the lifts for Kelethin. So, kind of I think closer to the northern path mostly, but all in that area. I mean, I saw a pixie trickster literally on the southern path, so the whole area around here is the pixie trickster killing fields where you can get rawhide armor from collecting their dust and turning it in to the Calton Rangers Guild. So, just wanted to document that somewhere for any of you all adventurers who might be excited about this quest like I am. I totally geared out Mero, my first real character on this server via Pixie Tricksters and for, with her I mean with him, I was thinking of my Enchanter Miana, with him it was even easier because he was a ranger and he had track so if you're looking to start a wood elf ranger uh, self found this is your quest this is your quest. You will just be Pixie Trickster, Pixie Trickster, Pixie Trickster with the track to add on to there. 
and this is the spot with what's over there. I see stuff flying all the time, but looks like pickings are a little more slim than last time, but still not bad. Let's head south back towards the LFA zone line. But anyway, like I said before, I don't want to record all this, but I just want to throw it on camera and show the location so you can see what I call the pixie fields for those of you who want to do this quest. Oh, also, I just wanted to point out, I, I picked up a two-handed a rusty sword, rusty two-hander, and it said I was encumbered for a second, and then I said, then it said I wasn't encumbered. And I'm like, well, what happened? I don't have any weight reduction backs. Are things heavier when you're like holding them on your cursey? And then I looked and I realized my endurance is actually zero, and I take a strength AGI and dex debuff when that happens. So that's something to keep in mind, you guys. I think a lot of us forget on this server, because it's not happening on any other server. Uh, running out of energy, your endurance running out is a thing. So some of the classes have some spells that will reinvigorate people, and usually they just go completely unheated. But on this server, they might actually be useful. So if you're like a healer, oh, here's a double, two for gotta finish this one off first so if you're like a healer you might want to keep that going on your tank you know it unfortunately doesn't show you their endurance so it's it's not easy to, to keep in mind so it's probably never gonna be all that useful but something you could do is a little extra to, that people might notice like hey you can keep my energy up like some people might be noticing that I think I would notice it if because it, it comes with a debuff when you run out of energy so, see look, now my strength's down to 75. Something to keep in mind. So we ran down to the pixie fields and we're on our way back to the newbie lift area. We're just about to arrive at the newbie lift, still keeping an eye out for pixie tricksters, but it's time for me to go back to work. This is my lunch break. So I'm gonna have to pause it here, but we got 19 dusts now. We came into the zone, you know, from South Queen to the one. And just making one run here to, to Orc Hill, killing some stuff there, and then one run back. Uh, we've brought that up to 19, so soon enough we're going to have quite a few turn-ins. It's going to make it totally worth it. Anyway, I'm going to pause it now. Well, for you, will just be a moment. Well, for me, be at least a few hours, if not a whole day. See you guys soon. <coughs> Alright. Killing Orcs and Turions. One hand slash has just gone up to 28. On the last fight it went up from 25 to 27, and we got one more in this fight to 28. It's going pretty well, and we've got 22 pixie dusts. This takes six per turn in, so two more, and we've got four turn ins. And we're almost getting encumbered here. So at that point, I think we'll go and do what turn ins we can. We want to I was thinking save them all up, get like a whole bunch at one time, but why do that? Well, we can go get a bunch of turn-ins, get some gear right now, and um, thereby put on said gear and do better against the Centurions and probably level up defense faster. But defense did just hit 27. It's not doing that bad, considering that the max, I believe... is 40, so it's not that far behind. Here's a mage that might need my help. I'm not sure. Maybe not, though. He's got it. He says, nah, thanks, though. Mages don't need help. <laughs> right? So, a lot of, surprisingly, a lot of competition today on Orc Hill. Uh-oh. What, what is that guy con? He cons green. So we can safely pull this guy away from the camp and hopefully we can kill him and pull the other one before the third one spawns because the other one even though he's green could have a belt and it looks like he might have a crack staff it's probably a worn great staff i don't remember many crack staffs dropping from these guys but fingers crossed but this is good there's some some light blues so it's comfortable for leveling up our one hand slash. Oh, we had that pop in that camp, but they might be far enough apart from each other. 
Oh, well, I forgot one's green, so I can just pull the fresh pop and get the other one later. So someone split this camp for me, which is nice. Let's see how long we can hold it for. Uh-oh. Well, we might be getting an ad, like, right now, unfortunately. Oh, he regened. Let's bring him back. Now that he's willing to fight us again, let's pull him away from that camp. There we go. Oh, we got two blue spawns somehow. Oh, I forgot it's a four spawn camp. So never mind. Pixie Trickster. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Die. Thank you. All right. I think one more dust and we will, we will head back. <coughs> All right. We're back in the Rangers Guild with a few turn-ins. We got encumbered, so we decided, hey, why not? Let's see what we get. Patchwork pants. AC4 versus our AC3. Slight upgrade. Also, fashion quest upgrade, baby. Uh, exterminate the pixies. That's not the right pixie tricksters. Exterminate the pixies. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Patchwork sleeves. Well, that's a lot better than our nothing sleeves. <coughs> There we go. But I think we can just keep doing this for a while while we're killing orcs. And, oh wait, don't just give them to her. Exterminate the pixies, there we go. And I think we can slowly, eventually get rawhide, which will be even better AC than the patchwork. Rawhide Gorget, see what I mean? AC3 versus our AC1. So there's a 2 AC increase. No fashion quest on that one though, but hey, I'm after AC anyway. Rawhide Skullcap for AC4, replacing our AC2. Oh, the only problem is it's a fashion quest fail. It's a fashion quest fail. Our beautiful hair is now like a donkey, like retard, I mean a mentally handicapped person's hat now. No. No. Oh my god, it's horrible. It's okay, we need the AC, boyos. We need the AC. We're doing solo self-found hardcore. We are not doing solo self-found fashion. Oh my god, though. It's, it's hurting me. It's actually physically hurting me. I think I'm going to have a heart attack looking at this freaking hat. Oh my goodness. It's horrible. We got a good deal of money right now. So I'm thinking maybe we upgrade our shield. <coughs> maybe. Well, we're doing really good on money. I think we got about, let's see, that's two more plat. We got about 12 plat. I'm really tempted to go, you know, back to find a shield vendor and get an epic shield so our bash can be pretty strong. Um, just to make sure, because the P99 says... The P99 says that the Bloodforge Hammer is a level 10 quest. And uh, who knows on Quarm if that's the case. And I don't even know if that means you have to be level 10 to do it, even on P99. But um, just in case, I'm going to wait until I am level 10. I mean, we're still leveling up the Slash here anyway. So might as well just make sure we don't end up having to go back there and do that again. 
by waiting until we're level 10 to go turn it in. But we're looking better. We got new pants, new sleeves. We're looking pretty good, I think. We've got a bunch of money. How much did we increase our AC by? I think the scap, the cap was two, pants were one, the arms were an increase of three. So two, one, three, six. And I think this was an increase of two. We just got eight more AC, which is kind of a lot in this game, right? Um, not bad at all. Tempted to buy a shield if I come across one. All right, you guys. Our first fight. Oh, never mind. I don't think we're gonna try to take two of these guys. Should we though? They're probably both blue. I, if it weren't hardcore, I'd give it a shot, but I'm gonna get crushed. You know what my plan is? I want to kite them by the guards, and hopefully just get one of them killed. Nope, that's not happening. Okay, try again. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, we are killing it. Look at that, it's a dark blue. And we seem to have a lot more damage mitigation. Is it just me? One hand slashing went up to 131. I went ahead and sold the crack staff. I think one hand slashing is high enough now. But we're gonna go for um, we're gonna go for as many pixie tricksters as we can. We're gonna do this like as long as we can. I want to get like a full set of rawhide from this quest. You know. That would be nice. Whoa! That's the first gem I think I've looted on this character, period. And I've killed a lot of basic tricksters. Didn't even know they could drop it. <coughs> Alright, I thought I'd unpause for this one, because this orc seems to be giving me a run for my money, you guys. As you can see, we're even Steven at the moment. Let's see how it goes. He's conning Dark Blue, but judging by his size and how he's performing in combat, I'm guessing he's right under me. Like, this is probably a level 7 Orc Centurion, where the other ones are probably level 5. Maybe level 4, even. He just parried me. Wow. So, yeah, that's like the first time I've seen that happen. He is kicking my butt. Look at that. He's got a lead on me. We're going to have to use Lay on Hands here. At this rate, anyway. Almost wish I didn't sell the crack staff. Wondering if I would be doing better with it. Well, oh, I was hoping the RNG was going to be nice to us and we would not have to use lay on hands. We could just be low HP and go run for pixies. I mean, it's still possible, but look, we're only, he's only 5% ahead right now. We just need couple more. There we go. He took the lead. But oh, yeah, we got him on the run. So as long as he doesn't get any ads, I think we can keep our lay on hands on cooldown. Or we can not use it. Perfect. Now we're going to get out of this dangerous place and go back to the pixie fields. And while we slowly regenerate our HP, farm up a bunch of pixies. Defense went up to level 29. Very nice. Grinding up the skills. Grinding up the XP. We're at 86%. And we got a bunch of belts at this point, I think. One, two, three, four, five. We got five belts. Not bad at all. All right, I unpause just to say I stand corrected. Orcs can drop craft staffs. Yeah, baby. Cracked staff. Okay, we're super encumbered and we've regenerated almost all of our health and just in the time of regenerating that health since that last big fight we had we've gotten a bunch of like random stuff to sell as well as 11 more pixie dusts tons of weapons 
we're gonna get rich doing this this gear grind here. And I think we're gonna just ding level nine. And then we'll have a bunch of belts as well to turn in. Hopefully take us to level ten. That's what I think we'll do. We'll we'll do this, get fully geared, we'll get enough XP and enough belts where we can feel confident that when we turn them in, we're gonna get level ten. So then we can go to Kaladin, turn the belts in, get level ten, and then at the same time turn in the quest for the the new hammer and be able to turn that in because it says minimum level 10. And then we'll figure it out from there. I'm just gonna hit up a merchant real quick and then probably head back to Orc Hill. I might camp right now and play with some friends and resume this video later, but for you, it'll just hopefully be pretty much seamless. We're doing pretty good on money right now too. Alright, we sold all of our crap. We've got 11 plat, 32 gold, 224 silver, and 315 copper. So that's 31 more silver. So 250 silver is 25 gold. 25 gold brings us up to 5 extra plat. So we're like 16, almost 17 plat. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, you guys, just checking in. Um, this is a new session, and I've been playing a bit on this session without uh, unpausing the recording. To make sure it's still working just fine. Looks like audio and everything's doing all right. And yeah, we killed a bunch of orcs and turions, and my HP seems to be staying up way better than before. Um, this is the first one that really got me below 80, 85. I killed like four dark blues in a row without my HP going below 80. I'm assuming they were just barely dark blue, and this one must be a bit higher of a level so maybe after this one we're gonna have to go back to the hunting pixies again which is fine with me that's really what I'm more excited about but it is actually pretty exciting to be this close to level 9 when we finally get spells and it will aside from that it will also mark the furthest I've ever gotten on a hardcore character and uh, this is my second try my shaman got to 8 before he died and Unfortunately, that was not on camera, so don't bother going to look for it. It's a pretty sad recording attempt. I feel like I'm doing a lot better on this particular hardcore character. Also making a lot of money, almost up to like 17 and a half plat right now. So really, things going very well. Just continuing the orc killing, and then as HP regens, running back through Greater Fate Arc to the pixie fields, and hopefully killing some pixies along the way and just getting as much pixie dust as we can. A fairy duchess. Gotta be careful if you do this quest. <laughs> Make sure you check the name before you attack it. Because these little chicks look almost the same. Another gem. Well, I don't know if someone else is hunting them or something, but really unlucky with the uh, pixies on this particular jaunt through the pixie fields. I found, I think, one. Whereas prior, I must have found seven or more. Maybe that's uh, ambitious six, at least six. Now it's like, oh, a bat is blue to me? <laughs> what? What's the level cap on a bat? Isn't it like two? Is a level two still blue to me? I don't know. I doubt it. But it's a bummer. Uh-oh. Apparently this guy is not really here. I am seeing some... I am seeing a corpse here. So something's happened here. I don't know if it was an NPC or a player. But something killed something around here. Anyway, I'll continue looking. HP is continuing to regenerate, but we're kind of at a point where um, we could head to Kaladin and turn in belts and hit level 9 and buy our new spells. That's very, very 
tempting to do. At the same time, we're at a good level to keep killing orcs and skilling up. At the next level, some of these light blues are going to turn green on us, and that's not good. Greens run at 50%. They don't skill up at all. I'm going to look up the quest from Kaladim, where you take like some sort of card, you get on the boat at the docks, and you go to the sister's island, and you turn in the card. I think you can only do one at a time, so it's going to be a long process. But basically you turn in this card and I think he gives you some gear. I'm not sure if you also have to give him some coin. Like I said, I'm going to have to look the quest up. I'm going to look it up on the P99 wiki and see what it entails. But I know that Korvac, my friend and my self found friends group, he did that and got himself as well as my shaman a bunch of gear. And the fact that my shaman was able to wear it tells me that I think this gear is wearable by nearly anyone. So I don't think we're going to have the problem we did when we turned in the crush bomb belts where it's going to be too small or something like that. I think we can wear it. Now this is incredibly bad luck with the pixies. I mean this whole run I think I found three, maybe four. Where it's usually like 10 to 15 so I don't know what's going on. Maybe someone else uh, got wind of this idea. I think the first video I mentioned it in is now live. But I doubt that's what it is. It could be, though. It only takes one, right? Just one person deciding to do that quest. And I'm not going to see very many pixies at all, if that's the case, right? But it also could be, like, maybe there's a certain spawn points where, you know, the mob that spawns there could be any of four mobs. And so if, if maybe it's because of me hunting the pixies so much. Like, I killed, like, you know, ten pixies and only three of those respawned as pixies and then I kill the pixies and not the other ones again on the next run and so on and so forth until there's pretty much no pixies left and the spawns are not being killed I don't know but really really sour numbers here but let's see what we got we got 15 um, three more we would have a third turn in but right now we've got two not bad Let's look up that quest while we chill here for a second, and then it's probably going to be time to go kill some more orcs. We're going to have full health. Okay, so it looks like what we have to do for this armor quest is we have to kill a giant rat that's under the bank in Kaladin. Eventually, after we kill this giant rat enough times, he's going to spawn a Clockwork 7 uh, cleaner rat, I think. Cleaner 7, it's called. I kill Cleaner 7 as a clockwork rat, and he drops some scrap metal. And I give that back to the dwarf in that area, and he gives me a night card. I take that night card to... Um, and I think I can stack them, so I can take a bunch of them. I can just get a whole bunch. And I take the night cards to the guy in the Oceans of Tears. I turn them into him, and he can give me... Um, Actually, there's a whole wide range of things you can give me. Let me pause for a second and set up my browser so I can t give you guys a look. Alright, so the night card quest, right here, requires amiable fa or better faction and is multi-questable, it says, on P99. But what I've found is, and I think across the board, indifferent is usually good enough. Um, but we're going to be raising our faction quite a bit when we go turn in the belts we've got. I think I will grind back up to 9 just to get some more belts, give me more faction, just in case that's a, that's a thing. But this is wearable by any race and by paladins, black and iron. The problem is it's very heavy for the amount of AC it gives. So that's a bummer, but it's still a huge upgrade. And it's going to make me maybe put the pixies aside for now and go for this, because if we can get plate, yeah, we're not going to be able to carry very much, but the extra AC is going to be pretty nice. So we can get blackened um, the headpiece, the crown. It's got a bunch of resist. That'd be cool to finally get some stats, plus 5 strength. That's awesome. But you can see, it is 6 pounds, just this crown. So the black and iron stuff, is, except for the crown, I believe is all AC. You have a chance of getting the bloodstone eye patch, which would be awesome. Wiz 3, AGI 3, that'd be a really cool thing to get. Bronze armor is possible. Let's compare it. 6.2 AC9 on the gloves. 
looks like black and iron doesn't have gloves. Let's see, what's a bronze greaves? Weight nine, AC ten, black and iron seven seven. So either one would be perfectly fine. Although I do like the look of bronze more, but that would be some straight up plate that we would get. Really cool. Um, you could also get large, which is unfortunate. So I guess, I guess the problem could be that we could get. Um, we could end up getting some large pieces, which we would just sell, which is decent, right? Ring mail is a possibility. That would be nice as well. Um, sleek black cape it does AC6 and will only cost two. So there's some special items in here that uh, we could also get small that we couldn't wear too. But there's a couple special items like the serpent skin eye patch and stuff that gives some stats that they're kind of kind of cool like that. It looks like it's not the entire gear set. Like ring milk, you can get coat, glove, gloves, neck guard, etc. So I think this is kind of the way to go spend our time. But this pixie quest is awesome. Let's go turn in what we've got thus far. And um, then head to Kaladin. Turn in the belts, get our spells. Also maybe turn in the bone chips because we got a couple of bone chips and I think there's a Kaladin quest. That way we don't have to go to Felwith. We'll hit level 9, and we'll be done with um, Raider Fate Arc for now. And we'll be gearing ourselves up in Kaladin. I'm tempted to buy another weapon while I'm in this zone, though, because they like me considerably more. But we just upgraded our weapon. Let's just chill on that for now and save some of this money. If we, maybe we can go for saving up quite a bit and getting something really decent, like a Combine Magic Weapon that would allow us to kill some wisps. That's probably the smart thing to do. Fade Arcs Champions. Did we already get the bag? We did not. I don't think. Exterminate the pixies. There we go. Fingers crossed on a piece of gear that we could actually wear. Raw hide sleeves. Definitely beat our patchwork. They're gonna add one extra AC. Okay. Exterminate the pixies. Pop open the bag. Last turn in unless we go kill more to, to finish our set here. work again if I'm not mistaken yes okay well let's see what they sell for one gold three silver so we're now up to 19 platinum which is pretty decent it's time to head to Kaladin turn in these belts sell what we get from doing that real quick you got anything interesting for sale we got a one a one tier upgrade shield but I don't think it's worth spending the money just to do one tier we should skip and go a second tier up um, oh a backpack I might need a backpack soon for putting stuff in the bank however I've already got two backpacks I think I'm gonna rotate these backpacks out in favor of medicine bags which only weigh 0.4 so if I get rid of those two backpacks that's six pounds done and I get, let's say, three medicine bags. That's only 1.2 pounds. So I save myself 4.8 pounds. And three times six is 18. Two times eight is 16. And gain two slots. And if we're gonna really get any of the armor we're hoping to get from this night card quest, that's gonna be of value to have done. Because if we get some real armor, we're gonna be getting encumbered. Our strength is only 85. It's nothing. It's not. It's not the kind of thing you can wear plate and carry around a a shield with very comfortably, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So we're gonna have to make up 
some lightness. We're going to have to reduce our weight somewhere. And I think that's the spot to do it at. So anyway, uh, with full HP, I think what we got to do is we got to head back to Orc Hill. Get a couple more kills. We'll keep our eyes out for any pixies on the way or around the hill. There's usually some. Again, bad luck lately with that. But if we do manage to kill three more on the way back as we head towards Butcher Block while our HP is regenerating, we can do one more turn in and see if we can't get something new to wear. We have nothing in our shoulders. We have nothing on our shoulders, nothing on our back, nothing on our wrists, and nothing on our face at the moment. So a single upgrade, even patchwork in those would be really nice. But we got some, we got one extra AC point from that last turn in and we got 2% XP. So, you know, we could keep rolling the dice. We could end up with all uh, rawhide or nearly all. I don't know if uh, the rewards include every slot. Sometimes rewards will give you, you know, like four potential slots. Now here's an orc that's white to us. That would be a fight for sure. That's the kind of the fight I think we want. Because after this we want to do a long run. So let's see how we do against the white. We got lay on hands. And I don't think we're going to need it for a while. Unless of course we get jumped in butcher block. Which is definitely a possibility. Let's see how we do against this guy. So far, not great. We're not exactly getting crushed, though, either. Well, now, now we are. We have yet to land a hit. There we go. But he is certainly giving us the old wolf four. He's doing us better than we're doing him. Hopefully this is just RNG and we're going to pick up. But if he's not at 50 soon, like if, we, if he's not at 50 and we're getting low, we're going to have to run. Look at this. Dang. So we're definitely using lay on hands. I'm just hoping we can kill him at all, even with the lay on hands. A level up of defense, a level up of one hand slash. Very nice. But this is not looking good, you guys. Oh, there we go. A nice 10 hit. What if this is it? What if, like, he gets me low and it stuns me? Okay, we're gonna take one more hit because I'm crazy. Okay, he's at 55, but we only need to get him down to 20 before he gets us down to 20 to get him to run. However, RNG is not being nice to us on this one. I think we're gonna pull it off, though. This could... it's probably not gonna ding us, but... It's going to be a nice chunk of change as far as XP. Probably would have been wiser to kill a bunch of blues, get extra belts. But I felt like an exciting challenge. A white orc. Solo self found hardcore. Taking out a white on a paladin. Now that's something. Of course, yeah. I use Leon hands, so... I mean, that's the only way it would have been possible. And look at this. We actually ended up with some decent HP. Oh, but he doesn't want to run. Oh, yes, he does. Okay, good. Alright, it would be funny if you made it to the guards. 98% and a belt to boot. Yeah, we definitely deserve that belt. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, well we got kind of crushed there. Um, we didn't get any more pixie dust, so I don't think I need to go back up into the trees. We're going to run back towards um, Butcher Block. I think there's one or two blue orc centurions in the woods on the way to the Butcher Block zone line. Maybe we'll get another kill in here since we do have the HP for it. Although, with Lay on hands down, it doesn't sound like the wisest thing, but I'm pretty sure those spawns are consistently lower level Dark Blues, unlike what we just killed there. I mean, we're level eight, so that was a level eight mob. I think that's the highest level you're gonna find on Orc Hill. I'm not sure, but I think so. And these mobs are not on Orc Hill. So I don't think they share the same loot table, or spawn table. Anyway, prattling on here. Video's getting long. I'm going to pause it until we get to turn it into belts. Wow, I stand corrected. There's the orc I was thinking of, and he is conning white too. Dang. So I guess they do share the same potential spawn level range. Oh, we ain't going to mess with that, that's for sure. We're nearly to the butcher block zone lane, but I might have to camp out here. My wife will be coming home from the class she's teaching 
and it's probably best if I am not on the computer playing video games. It just it's one of those things that irks her when she comes home and finds me doing that. <laughs> so better to preemptively log. Finish this run later. Hopefully next time I unpause will be after a smooth run through Butcher Block, turning in those belts, getting the ding. Well, it looks like Corflunk is back up, but someone else is taking care of him this time. I wonder if he's hunting them or he just came across them. This time he's got some sort of mace. Might have been an upgrade for us. Oh well. I wasn't really hoping to run into him anyway. Onward and onward. You know what I noticed that's kind of trippy? If you watch Polonius' feet here, you'll notice that he, the sound of the footsteps does not match the actual footsteps. And it's not like it's just off, it's also a different speed. <laughs> so like every like, every like eighth step will be right on the money with the sound. Because the sound is going slower than the feet actually are. Anyway, whatever, right? <laughs> Gonna pause it again. And this time hopefully I can keep my mouth shut. <laughs> we are amiable now to the dwarves, the, at least the guards anyway. That's cool. I guess we killed enough orcs? Or maybe it was the last belt turn in? I could have sworn I checked after the last belt turn in and we were just indifferent, but maybe I'm wrong about that. I think this guy has a quest. Rare talent. Okay, let's see. Piqued your interest today. Well, you see, I am one of the few dwarves who possess the knowledge and talent to craft a unique type of armor entirely out of scarab carrier pieces. While my specialty is making scarab helms, I have also been convinced to make scarab breastplates and scarab boots. Oh, those ones only work for the little people, though. But, yeah, I remember doing that quest on my dwarf paladin back in the day on P99. Alright, when we hail him, he doesn't say anything. Oh, he did. He just took a second. Are you ready to serve Kaladin? Well, you don't need to go through this. Let's make sure that is a crush bone belt. We are at 98% and this is probably going to ding us, everybody. Fingers crossed. Aha, 2%. We got 4% for that turn in. And we have hit level 9. All right, let's turn the rest in. That takes up to 6%. That takes up to 10%. We're still getting 4% per belt, man. That is some great XP. Not to mention money. Uh, 7 silver, 14 silver, and the armor that we're going to sell. All right? Wowee, got us up to 27%. I accidentally hit cancel when I was giving him a belt. There it is, I had to go find it again. Wow, 31% in with some armor to sell to boot. Time to go buy some spells. Wow, surprisingly. This paladin guildmaster looks at me apprehensively and says I won't have anything to do with half-elves. So these guys do not like me. I suppose I have to go with fell with. But at least perhaps I could buy spells? Yes. Here we go. Minor healing. Flash of light. Courage. That's actually our better heal at the moment. Cure poison. Why not? 
well, maybe because we're broke. True North? Nah, we don't need that. Spook the Dead? Yes, please. Yelp, of course. Alright, I believe that does it for our level 9 spells. We could pick up our level 15 spells as well. Hmm. Not a horrible idea. But where would we put them? And we would blow a lot of our money, but it would get it out of the way, right? Let's see, there's six gold, three silver apiece. Let's say seven gold apiece. One, two, three, four. But those two are really cheap. Ward undead. Five. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think we need to plan that far ahead. I'm surprised the guild masters refuse to, to even talk to us. I guess all the stuff we've done is, is nothing that they care about. Different faction. Yeah, they will sell us spells, but... They are apprehensive with us. See, what does the two-handed sword he was going to sell me for 28 plat do? Because we are almost there in terms of platinum. That's a 12.45. Seems like the Blood Forge Hammer. Oh, I forgot. we got to turn in the Blood Forge Hammer. Let me look that up. Ooh, exciting development. All right, he's in here somewhere. His name is Vizar Blood Forge. Negative 38, positive 400. Hmm. Numbers are going down. Ogre Bane, okay. This is the way we want to be on this side, apparently. Negative 38 is this way. Seems like he must be... Buys our blood forge. There he is. He's amiable with us, so I think... I think he's going to be amiable to the idea of taking this dwarf head. Fingers crossed, everybody. Oh, baby. We got some experience. Question is, did we get it? Blood Forge Hammer. Magic two-hand blunt 1350 with a magic resist of 10. Yeah. All right. Yeah! So now that we got some spells, and we got our new two-hand weapon, I think what we're going to do is we're going to hang out under the bank, and we're going to kill that clock, that Clockwork 7 rat over and over and over again, as well as his placeholder, a giant rat. We're going to just keep crushing them, and level up our two-hand blunt, level up our one-hand slash, and in between, level up our casting. Because we got new spells, and we got no skills with them. So this is the perfect time to skill up. I hope we can still get some XP, and I think we can. I think giant rats are probably dark blue or potentially light blue at this point. So the XP is going to be slow, but I don't mind that. We want to leave this place ready to get a whole bunch of plate gear with all of our skills ready to perform well in combat. Because on this character, we don't get a second chance. You know what I mean? But for now, I think that's a good place to wrap up this episode. Level 9. With a new two-hand weapon. Let's see how it looks. Let's throw it on. Oh, it's even got a light source to it. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, doesn't look that, that amazing, but it's something, right? It's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Um, I'm probably going to try to sit back on this guy, do this grind off camera for a while. This video series is like a week ahead. Like, I'm recording this now, and I, it's Wednesday evening for me, so it's Wednesday morning back in the States. You're probably not going to see it till like next Monday, because I'm only releasing videos every other day. So I need to take a chill pill on this guy. I really want to spend more time on the Enchanter. She's only level 35. We want her to get 
higher so we can take advantage of either Kunark when it drops, do some cool dungeon solo crawling. Although, let's be honest, those dungeons are going to be packed to the brim. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to hope against hope that maybe we can get like a frenzy lower gut camp while everyone's off on Lizard Island. Or some other cool camps, get some cool gear, solo enchanter, or maybe with some friends if they're interested. Although there's a good chance that when Kunark launches, we'll end up getting sucked into some sort of Ixar friend group. <laughs> but a man can dream, can't he? I'll catch you guys on the next episode.